is going on everybody and welcome to another video of Grim Dawn. Forgotten Gods, maybe? <laughs> We're not quite there yet. We're not too far away. It's right around the corner, I believe. But today we got some fantastic news. I was really surprised by this, personally. There was a developer stream not too long ago, and if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure I remember Xantai saying that they will not be making any new classes of any kind. But today we have the news that we are getting a new class called the Oathkeeper. So the Oathkeeper, what is it? What is this character all about? It says, Grim Misadventures is here, and this one is all about promises or oaths and keeping them. Last time we delved into haunting memories of the Corvin people. Some of them, bound by their oaths, stand to this day defending cities and tombs as, as if those they swore to protect remained. Today we are going to look at another group of individuals for whom oaths are the foundation of purpose. For these warriors, priests, conquerors, oaths drive every action, every decision, for they are bound to the will of the gods, and through them the gods execute their celestial judgment. Today we are proud to announce the ninth master coming to Grim Dawn with the Forgotten Gods expansion, the Oathkeeper. Now I have done a little bit of reading with this character and what it's going to be about. So this character, you could kind of resemble it to like a holy paladin or like a warrior of light in essence or like firing righteous fury. But it did say that they will follow other gods. So you could even potentially have an Oathkeeper that is a follower of Dreek. Um, so that leads me to believe that this class is going to have a lot of hybrid options and where modifiers or different types of routes you can go. You can be like kind of like a holy warrior or a paladin, but obviously you could be like, you know, I wouldn't say a death knight uh, per se, but a dark warrior, I guess. <laughs> a black knight, I guess you could call it. Um, but yeah, so I've been reading through this and that's the information that I've received on this character. That it's basically going to be a multitude of things that this character can do in the areas it can go through. So one thing that I thought was really cool with this news and update is that they are going to be adding a new stat ability which is going to convert a percentage of your retaliation damage into your weapon attack as well. So I don't think it's going to. Some people were worried about that when I told them about this. But check this out right here. The shield throw. Yeah, they get a shield throw. I'm really excited about that. And I do believe they said that that will actually work with retaliation damage as well. So I think that's going to be pretty neat. So I don't think it's going to be a straight transfer. Um, I don't think it's going to take like your retaliation damage and then convert it into you know weapon damage and then you're going to lose retaliation damage. I think the way it's going to work is that they're going to let you keep the full value of retaliation, but then a percentage of that value will get applied to your weapon attacks. And I think that's going to be a good change personally. And the reason why I think that's going to be good is because, as everyone knows, if anyone has ever tried to play a retaliation build, it's a little miserable when it comes to killing casters and certain monsters in the game, so you have to really try extremely hard, and it takes a long time because retaliation only works off melee, uh, so that's some pretty good news. So you got the Vire's Might here. And then you can kind of read about it, everything right here. I believe... I'm trying to read this real quick. Okay, yeah, and then you have a charge here, which is going to be cool. But up above, it actually mentions something about... If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So it says right here, Even in the far-off lands of the Corvin people, the Oathkeeper served under the command of the Forgotten God and its priests. Their oaths resolute as still, some remain as race, bound to guard their devastated homelands. And then it actually goes on to talk about somewhere in here, if I'm not mistaken. It talks about the other gods they'll worship and follow. Maybe it wasn't right here. I could be completely wrong. I just read it a second ago. But yeah, anyway, they they will, like I was saying, they'll you know, they'll follow Dreeg, they'll follow Solel, Bismil, uh, Mogdrogan, from what I understand. They have other gods that they will worship, and some of them do worship the forgotten gods in the lore and whatnot, so that's kind of interesting. But uh, yeah, you can read about all this. I'll leave a link in the description below. So it's going to be really fascinating. But uh, I'm excited about this. I think this expansion is going to be really good, especially coming to the new class. It's going to be really neat. And they're very adamant about talking about how this class, even though it uses a shield, it can it basically uses that shield as a major weapon to devastate enemies and you know do lots of damage and whatnot. But anyway... If you guys would, please like this video, share with your friends, subscribe, it really helps me out. All the likes do wonderful things for me and support this channel. Also, I think in this video, I think it's time, I think it's time, it's been a while, 
I, mean, I don't think I've ever done this actually now that I think about it, but I, I want to do a giveaway. So all you got to do in this video is share and like the video. If you share and like this video, I will pick a random subscriber, someone from my list to purchase the Forgotten Gods for them when it comes out. So if you guys are interested in that, please partake and let me know. And somebody will be winning a copy of Forgotten Gods. Anyway, as always, guys, thank you for taking time to watch my videos. I'm really excited. Put in the comments below what you guys think, what your favorite character is, what it might be, some theory crafting. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. It's going to be fun. All right, guys, as always, thank you for watching, and I will see everybody next time. You guys take care.